Well, the project I'm working on with Ben Uri is about um, trying to improve the quality of life for people with dementia. Um, and so we are working with the gallery and with um, a local day centre, an NHS day centre, um, and the people who attend the day centre um, who have dementia. And we're running two art therapy groups there at the moment. Um, one closed group for people who um, are slightly more able still, um, and an open group for anyone who would like to come. And they're both art therapy groups. There's a lot of work with arts and people with dementia, a lot of really good work going on, but this is an art therapy project, so we have um, an art therapy trainee working with the, with the participants. So it's someone who really understands how to work with people's emotions safely, how to um, kind of take care of people when difficult feelings are evoked, how to allow them to express their emotions. Um, so that's one part of, one aspect of what makes it unique. So there's a trainee who I carefully supervise, but there's also Benuri, and we work with their collection. Um, and that means that uh, the participants have been to the gallery to see the artwork, in, in, uh, actually seen it in situ, but they also have reproductions brought into the day centre, um, and it's this unique... Um, bringing together of an art, an art therapist, um, the clients, and actual artworks, which is really special and really different. People with, with dementia are very excluded from, from life, um, and often art projects will uh, offer people art materials, and people might feel a little, little bit infantilised because their skills, they're losing their skills. Working with, with good art and um, a kind of bringing the level up, people really um, rise to that. For people with dementia, being in, um, in an art therapy group where they have somebody who's really trained in helping them uh, manage their emotions um, in a safe way really does help, help them because people with dementia, they don't just suffer from memory loss, um, losing their facility with words, losing their whole sense of who they are. They also um, suffer from uh, depression, often anxiety, changes in personality. And often the people around them, the caregivers, actually don't really want to hear how difficult that is. Where Ben Ori comes in is with a marvellous collection that helps people, when they look at it, be able to express something about themselves. So through looking at the emotional content in artworks, uh, people often reconnect to their own feelings, um, can articulate something about how they feel themselves, um, can perhaps tangentially um, uh, describe something not directly about themselves but something about themselves that they might see in the artwork that might uh, relieve um, some of their own anxiety because they've been able to express it, they've been able to express it to someone who's able to hear it and hold it. I think there's something about people um, through viewing art being able to um, reconnect with parts of their own personal story that they might be beginning to lose. And so through looking at other people's stories or even what they, um, what they might project onto other people's stories, they are um, able to express something about themselves and retrieve something about themselves by using you know, parts of the brain that, that, are diff that function in a difficult way. It's, it, it's something else is happening when they're looking at art and thinking about art. What I do love about Ben Uri is this... Um, kind of using their special interests, their special uh, niche that they have and kind of uh, taking that somewhere new. Um, and uh, I think working with all kinds of community, but um, working with people with dementia is enabling them to be part of community.